pig. What's going on with my man? Vacation. D Phoenix here. Hey, everybody. Uh, welcome to In the Now. I'm doing this special thing uh, just to explain my, my, the absence of my show. Uh, what's going on? I went in the, uh, went in the door. Look, I'm right. Not much left to go. And uh, I'm going to start my new book on uh, January, the next year. So the next book will be the, uh, I think it's going to be the next installment of the Wrinkle in Time series. Uh, there's four, and this is the second one. And I, uh, the third one, I'll announce it when I get ready to do it. So uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. Uh, I think I want to talk about it once I finish it a little bit. And then. Uh, Book of the month. Remember, I have a new thing on the show. Book of the month. Um, so let's just put that down. So I'm on quarantine and uh, vacation. I guess uh, I just gotta stay away from people. And uh, I'm doing this little thing in my backyard. <laughs> I'm in my backyard. And uh, how you guys doing? Everything okay? So. Uh, what we're gonna do today is I want to tell you about that. My mother is in the hospital. She's in isolation pending the test results. Uh, we don't know whether she has it or not, COVID-19, uh, but we're gonna find out, I'm pretty sure, definitely tomorrow, uh, but maybe today. And if she doesn't have it, we can come see her. Uh, I've already talked to the nurse and she's doing really good and she's got her eating and because she wasn't eating uh she didn't feel like it i think it's because she can't taste the food so anyway she's okay uh, my sister's good and i'm good uh, we're all good uh, uh, the show will continue of course when my mom comes back and she's able to do it i can't do that show without my family because she wasn't even drinking water uh, we couldn't do it we got her to drink juice and stuff but she just doesn't like water Number one, never did. So this is not an odd thing. But she was getting confused in days because she wasn't eating. And you know, if you don't eat, your body needs uh, nutrients that you can't function. All right, so pretty much that's the book of the month. Uh, I'm okay, everybody. The show will, re will continue. I'm thinking, I'm almost off quarantine. So I got a few days left where I can't really go out and about. Um, so it's not so bad I mean I like the first quarantine and everything is good with my roommate and we're being safe and be, you know taking precautions so that he doesn't get it I don't have it but my mother does and I, I did take her to the hospital the other day so there's just a chance that we're watching over me to see if I get sick and uh, the only thing that's going on with me is sinus stuff, which is norm, norm, norm stuff. I have my sense of taste, I have my sense of smell, and I'm good. Okay, so let's do, uh, let's get on to, I wanna do a stop and review, and, uh, and then uh, it's gonna be short and sweet. Okay, okay, you guys all right? Okay, good, I'm okay. Yeah, it's cold here in Florida. Uh, this is about, it's about almost 12 o'clock in the afternoon. And it's, the high right now is, um, I believe, when I last checked, it was 61. Yeah. It gets cold here, but tomorrow, tomorrow is supposed to be back up in the 70s. Clear skies, no clouds in the sky. I love Florida. do stop and review and the movie I'm choosing is an, another Hulu original yeah. okay so the pilgrim for Thanksgiving I trapped the devil for Christmas and now midnight kiss for New Year for the new year <sighs> this movie midnight kiss is part of a series called into the dark on Hulu um, and I love the movie um, I'm gonna give it the full you know, boom, shaka, boom, snap, hold, and just praise it. Okay, so Midnight Kiss. The director is Carter Smith. God, great movie, Carter Smith. I love it.
loved it. It was very good. I can't say enough about this movie. I actually watched it again twice because it was so good. And I'll tell you what's good about it is the believability in it. That you feel like you're really there with these people because they're good actors. Uh, Augustus Prue, who plays Cameron in Midnight Kiss, dude, you are most excellent acting. I hope I can get as good as you because that's what I want to do. I want to do some acting too in my life. So I hope I get as believable as you got me in there. We believed that you were in jeopardy and you were afraid. Good job. Uh, Aiden Mayuri, she's the only girl in the group. Her name is, uh, her character's name is Hannah. When you get Hannah and Cameron together in this movie, you're gonna laugh, but they don't lose the, uh, you know, the believability, it stays, but you laugh at them because they're just great together. And they're actually best friends in the movie, in the story. Uh, Cameron's gay, so is the whole, pretty much all the guys in the group are gay, and there's one girl, uh, Hannah, and she's old. Let's tell you about the movie. Okay, first off, the killer walks around in these things, they call it like uh, furs, they get dressed up in the big animal suits, but this is like a, a leather dog mask. It's really creepy. I've seen guys actually wear this out, out in the clubs, and I don't, it I just creeps me out. But he wears it, the, the, the killer of the movie wears this thing when he kills people, and he's going around with this thing on his face, and it's pretty creepy. Uh, amongst this group of people, they started doing this thing like I think it was five years previous to this new year that's taking uh, place right now in the movie that they get together, all of them, and their goal is for the night is called the Midnight Kiss. So when New Year, when it strikes the new year, so you ha they have to find somebody they, do, they don't know. They never met them before. They don't know anything about them and kiss them. And the big thing is they can't just kiss them. They got to have the other person's consent to do so too so the other person's got to want to kiss them too and if they hook up i mean if they get it off they can be with each other for that night no matter if you're with somebody or not so that's the premise of this group thing uh the owner of this luxury desert house in the middle of nowhere the desert uh is the uh the leader of this group thing and he makes up the rules and that's wow. the rule all through the years they're getting these little cards every time just before they do the New Year Midnight Kiss thing. And it's telling them instructions, kind of weird stuff. And they always thought it was the leader of the Midnight Kiss, who the guy that owns the house that did the cards. And then later on, of course, they find out it's not him. It's someone else. And someone in the group, of course, on this particular New Year's. And by the way, it's 2019 going into 2020. So there it is, 2020 comes. This guy's going around, he's killing them. And of course, uh, they don't find out and figure it out until it's pretty much too late. Okay, so he's uh, going around. Augustus Prue, I can't say enough. Dude, your fear was real, and we we loved you. We were rooting for you, and we were we were right there with you the whole time that you were running away from that psycho nut. Um, but there's just one thing that's really great about the movie. I love the two uh, ca ca characters, Cameron and Hannah, you guys together. <laughs> made me laugh. I just love you guys. So it gets a full boom, shaka boom, snap, and just everything I got. Cause it's very good, done well. Um, the music score, I mean, everything was done well in it. It's part of the series, Into the Dark on Hulu. Hulu, I praise you for your originals cause they are truly original. So let's get to the boom, shaka boom, snap. <laughs>
Hey. Hey. Hey everybody, it's Sunday fun day. I'm coming out with the holiday fun days this time, this Tuesday, so we're with my sister now. That's good. Yeah, Miss Pinky's okay, but she's still not with us. Yeah. She does. She's got to see her because she's the only one can see her. Um, for only she got to make an appointment for thirty minutes. That Tammy's the only one that can see her right now. Um, yep, she had it. Um, but she's getting better, much better. Um, she lost her taste. I think she lost her sense of taste, and that's why she wasn't eating like she should. Oh, I got my smell back. I got my sense of smell back today. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I smell that berry soap, Tammy. Oh my God. It was it smelled like cereal on to eat it. Oh, <laughs> I could milk, just, just add milk, everybody. I can smell again. Yay, I can smell my underarm too. I love my underarm stuff. Okay.